Hello everyone, Hassem and Eskul. Welcome to my um, generative AI course. And uh, as you all know, in 2023, it has been an incredible year for AI. And we've seen a lot of um, breakthroughs in AI models like uh, ChatGPT, um, GPT-4. We've seen Claude, Gemini uh, recently. And of course, other multi-model uh, models like uh, Stable Diffusion, um, Whisper and uh, DALI models, DALI-3 model. And um, we've also seen a lot of uh, startups and businesses um, building uh, AI and building with AI. And I believe uh, it's a very transformative uh, technology and we should be fast in adopting and learning this technology. And um, in this course, you can expect to learn about um, language models, how to use them, how to build AI applications with them, also how to train or fine tune these kind of uh, AI models. And we will uh, learn about prompt engineering and uh, agent technologies and also uh, multi-model language models. Um, so today's video will be uh, an overview about language models. And um, basically, language models are AI models based on the transformer architecture. Um, so it's a, uh, an architecture introduced in the Attention is All You Need paper by Google. So this is um, a breakthrough paper that um, defined uh, and uh, showed the capability of this uh, transformer and the Attention uh, layer. Um, so um, there are three types of uh, transformer models. Uh, the general one is the encoder decoder um, transformer model um, and there is, uh, there's also two variants the encoder only language model and the decoder only language model and the decoder only language model is also called auto regressive regressive uh, models um, and they are um, the most popular AI models right now uh, are decoder only and in this course we will be mostly focusing on decoder only language models so um, these transformer models they receive uh, input uh, uh, they receive text as input and um, they process this uh, for example this input text through a component called uh, the tokenizer uh, and the tokenizer basically uh, learns um, a vocabulary of tokens and tokens is a for example a part of a word or can be an entire word and um, it also learns how to split text into individual words or tokens. And for each of the tokens, um, there is one token ID assigned among the vocabulary. And inside the um, transformer model, these token IDs are um, mapped into uh, embeddings, uh, which are vectors learned by the language model. And um, they are processed by layers like the multi-head attention or the feed-forward layers. And at the end, a transform model uh, outputs uh, gives output probabilities for um, all the tokens inside the vocabulary. And of course, the most probable token is the token generated by um, a transform model. And um, at the end, uh, a language model receives text as input and generates one token at a time. And of course, um, uh, we keep we will keep generating tokens until uh, an end of sentence token um, is generated. And this is uh, actually um, one of the one of the easiest um, or straightforward generation algorithms. There are other generating uh, generation algorithms out there. Um, so I want to show you uh, how, uh, for example, a translation task can be performed through a um, transformer model. So um, input uh, text and previous tokens are uh, put, uh, given as input to the language model and uh, the transformer will generate one uh, token at a time until uh, generation is completed. So here, um, Je suis étudiant is translated into um, I, am, I am a student. Um, so yeah, um, this was an overview about uh, transformers. We will de uh, dive deeper um, in the next video about uh, these language models and how they work exactly. Um, so um, as I said, they learn how to model language or complete text. And of course, there are uh, different uh, formats of language. For example, they can learn to complete code or uh, generate emails or perform translation or even um, 
complete uh, sequence of proteins. So this is like a completely different language that we as humans do not speak, right? Uh, and of course, one of the most useful um, uh, formats of language is chat uh, and following instruction. And that's why ChatGPT is called ChatGPT because it is trained to complete chat prompts, right? Um, I guess you all use uh, ChatGPT um, through the ChatGPT interface. Um, so just to show it quickly, um, you can you can basically um, select uh, one of the models. Um, there, there is a GPT 3.5 and the most powerful uh, GPT 4 um, avail available in uh, premium mode, I guess. And um, you can you can ask it like uh, to write code for you, to teach you to teach you stuff, or to reply to a question. And um, there's also the plugin mode. Uh, we will be uh, diving uh, deeper about uh, pl plugins in the next video where we discuss agents and tools and so on. But basically, um, ChatGPT is also trained on how to use um, um, like uh, tools in a specific um, in a specific context. So, for example, if I ask it, um, "What is sorry, um, what is the weather today in Berlin?" Of course, um, a model that was just pre-trained cannot know the, any information uh, today, right? But um, if it is um, trained to use uh, a tool like WebPilot, um, it will um, understand that it should process this um, query using the WebPilot tool and then will it will um, um, fetch real-time data um, from WebPilot and then will generate the final answer for you. Um, so we just... Uh, Need to wait a few seconds. All right, um, it got some information from WebPilot tool and then it can generate the final answer for us. Um, all right, um, so you can also use um, GPT models uh, through the API and they are actually closed source models. You cannot use them locally, you only use uh, through the OpenAI uh, API, and um, you can use GPT 3.5, the Turbo, or GPT 4, and there are also other um, 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 GPT models available, I guess. And um, so to to get started, I think um, I'll just uh, create quickly a virtual environment. Um, mm -hmm. So I create a new virtual environment and you need to install um, OpenAI uh, library. Uh, so um, to use um, the chat completion API from OpenAI, you need to um, provide um, chat messages um, that you want to complete. And of course, there's a, um, the very first um, component is a, the system part where you describe how ChatGPT should behave. Um, and then you uh, interleave user and assistant um, messages and how you want. And, and then uh, ChatGPT will complete the, the chat for you with one um, um, chat message at a, at a time. So um, you also need to... Um, to, to use the uh, API, you also need to export um, the OpenAI uh, API key. So you just uh, um, use this. OpenAI API key. And then you need to provide um, your, uh, your key here. And um, after you set it, um, you, you, can, you can directly use this, um, this code snippet. So basically, um, when you run it, um, we will see the actual generation from um, GPT 3.5 um, Turbo. Of course, uh, this GPT 3.5 Turbo is the cheapest and fastest um, GPT model out there, I guess. And so I think it's quite decent. Of course, uh, GPT 4 is more intelligent and smarter also, but um, it, it's much more expensive. Um, so you can also use um, um, open source language models and uh, you can usually find them on Hugging Face. So Hugging Face is a platform to, um, to share language models. You can, you can find, for example, today, the, 
one of the most trending models is Mistral, a uh, mixture of expert uh, language model, um, kind of new technology in the open source world, even though GPT-4 uh, already uses a mixture of expert uh, variant of transformer models. Um, so yeah, um, in, in Hugging Face, um, like today I'm going to use the um, Microsoft uh, Phi uh, 1.5 model. Um, so this is like a very small uh, model trained by uh, Microsoft, uh, 1.3 billion uh, parameters only. And um, so this means that uh, I can um, use it locally without a GPU. Um, you, you, can, you can go to the model page, um, you can see uh, some code snippets on how to use it. Um, I, I'm mostly using this this code snippet, but I just uh, don't set uh, CUDA device because I can just use a CPU. Um, we'll see in a, in, a, in later uh, videos how to use a device uh, like CUDA devices and how to train actually language models. Um, but yeah, for today uh, I will uh, uncomment this code snippet. Um, I also need to install uh, the transformers package. So um, this is a um, sorry, so pip install transformers. So this is um, a hugging face library that allows you to use um, transformer models uh, and pull them from the hugging face um, from the hugging face uh, model hub. So I also need to install um, PyTorch. So pip install torch and there is one more uh, library that I need to install it's called inops so let's wait for pytorch to finish installation uh, so this is also needed by transformers to um, to per do inference locally um, so yeah I so um, um, so this uh, code snippet will basically uh, pull uh, two components from Hugging Face, um, the model, uh, which is called uh, Phi, and the tokenizer. And as I said uh, earlier, um, a tokenizer will transform an input text into token IDs, and uh, these token IDs are then passed to the model uh, and will take care of generating outputs uh, until the end of sentence token is, is returned. Um, so I think we can we can just run the script as it is, and um, um, as you can see, this takes a while, uh, mostly because I'm I'm doing inference using CPU, um, which is not uh, really optimal, especially if you are um, using the transformers package. Um, we might uh, I might uh, do a video um, later about. Um, about uh, local inference using llama.cpp, which is a brilliant uh, library um, to use language models on, on edge devices. And um, yeah, uh, Transformers is um, um, really useful when you want to do training and inference uh, using GPUs. So, uh, so the language model um, generated an answer for me uh, and gave a definition on what are uh, language models? Um, probably better than my explanation. Um, but yeah, um, it also um, generated um, some gibberish uh, text, I would say. Um, so this is a kind of uh, language model hallucination, but also um, language models are trying to um, replicate their um, training data. So um, this Phi model was actually trained on uh, exercises, right? And that's why um, it tends to complete with uh, exercise information. Um, and actually it failed to generate an end, of, an end of sentence token after giving the right answer. Um, yeah, but oh, for sure there are more powerful um, AI models that are less, pro uh, less prone to hallucination. Um, yeah, probably we'll be using them in uh, later videos. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was it um, for today. Um, next video, we'll dive deeper into um, language models and we will see um, how uh, token generation happens exactly. Um, so yeah, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, to learn more about language models and generative AI. 
um, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter and reach out if you have questions about uh, this topic. And thanks for watching.